What's going on guys? This mall video is just a couple of minutes long, but it's just a small review on the Tamron 28-75 F2.8 DI3 uh, G2 lens. Um, I purchased this lens probably like a month ago um, to replace my Samyang 35mm due to the fact that I need a little bit extra reach. And um, so far I've been really happy with the lens. And all the images are, that I've taken with it, they have been great, very sharp, very um, in focus. Keep in mind that I only do nature and landscape photography. So most of my photos are um, waterfalls, mountains, or trees, and stuff like that. But that being said, one thing that I really like about the lens, and I'm gonna flip the camera real quick, the one thing I like about the lens is this little guy right here. I'm right now using the um, A7R4, which I will say the only downside on this lens is that the animal and human eye detect doesn't work with it. So that's one real big downside. So if that's something that you was looking forward to, you're not gonna get it with this lens and this body. Now, other than that, it has a USB type C so you can program this button over here, also your um, your focus. And um, like I said, I love this button right here due to the fact that this body doesn't really have, like when you go, let's just say you're, let's say right now we're trying to focus. So you know how you usually focus and then you switch to manual focus? Well, this body doesn't really have an option for you to switch to manual focus within the buttons and i'm not really sure if there's a way to program it in the camera itself then you could switch to the manual focus while pressing the, the focus button in the back of the camera so the one thing i like is that i can set this one for the out for the auto focus and then once it's in focus then i just press this one at the same time i'm pressing that one and it's automatically locked in focus ready to go no adjustments needed and that is one really cool feature that I like because I always like to shoot the, mo the, the photos in manual focus, but I always like to get in focus and then once it's in focus and switch you out of um, manual focus and readjust. But now with this lens, all I gotta do is just press the button and we're all good to go. Now, the quality of the lens is really good as well. It's like a plastic, but it's a hard plastic and weather resistant. As as you guys could probably see, it's right now uh, raining a little bit over here as well. And so far, I've been using it for a month. I've had zero issues with it. The zoom and everything is really smooth. Like, honestly, the, the Samyang that I used to have, it felt, it was a great lens though. I, I'm not gonna lie when the Samyang is a great lens, especially like if you like to shoot astrophotography, I used to shoot the Milky Way before. Works really good, but, oh wow, lightning. Now this one, but the wheel felt kind of weird. Now on this one, wow, that was loud. Now on this one, the wheel is super smooth, as you can, as you can see, and the focus ring, really, really good. Now in the application in the computer, if you connect it to the computer, you can switch it to um, from linear. And I forgot what the other mode. I'll post it up in here. Right now I have it as linear fo uh, focus, which I actually like way better, but that being said, it's a great lens, and I do recommend it, guys. If you guys like out, out look for, looking for a lens, it's a really good lens. For the, for the money that you pay for it, I pay, um, I pay $699, I think it was at Amazon, and it was brand new. And so far, I'm happy with it, and I hope to keep you guys updated with it in the future. So, thanks for tuning in, and thanks for stopping by. Subscribe and hit the like button, please.